Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will learn about the embedded boards. How to select the embedded boards to start your first IoT projects. Now, let's discuss about the Bluetooth Smart Enable Embedded Development Boards and the microcontrollers. So, let me first tell you there are two types of Bluetooth. First is the Bluetooth Classic, and another one is the Bluetooth Smart. And by using these two, there is a hybrid Bluetooth Smart Ready. So, Bluetooth Classic have higher data throughput but uh, it consumes lots more power than the Bluetooth Smart. Bluetooth Classic is specially used for uh, headphone, keyboard or mouse uh, connection but uh, Bluetooth Smart is specially used for where the low power device is required and low throughput also required. And Bluetooth Smart Ready is uh, mobile devices, computers, tablets, TV, so that means these devices can communicate with your headphones as well as with your uh, Bluetooth smart devices. So the first board is uh, we are going to discuss here CC2650. It is made by the Texas Instruments. Its price is around 200, 2500 rupees. So here is a launch pad CC2650 and here is a sensor tag. These two boards are made by Texas Instruments. This board have almost 8 sensors on board. But it don't have a debugger and programmer. You have to buy the another uh, debugger and programmer separately. And if we talk about dollars, so this board available in twenty nine dollar, and this board is also available in twenty nine dollar. And you can buy the debugger for this board in fifteen dollar. And uh, even if you have these two boards, you can program this board directly from this board. Okay. So this board have here CC2650 microcontroller and here it has CC2650 microcontroller. So this, these boards have a ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. The maximum speed of this board is 48 MHz and it has 128 kilobyte uh, flash memory and it has 8 KB static RAM for cache and 20 KB for ultra low leakage SRAM. And also it supports efficient code size architectures and uh, its power consumption in receive mode only consumes 5.9 mA and into the transmission mode it consumes uh, around 9.1 mA and into the standby mode and into the standby mode it consumes around 1 micro ampere current when RTC is running and into the shutdown mode it consumes around 0.1 micro ampere the another board is ST evaluation kit okay so this board is available into the 5000 rupees this board have STM32 L4 microcontroller it is ARM Cortex M4 running at maximum 80 megahertz it has GPIO, SPI, I2C, PWM and uh, then this board have another Bluetooth uh, Cheap that is Blue NRG MS. This board, this Blue NRG MS supports Bluetooth 4.1 and uh, it is running at uh, 32 megahertz. And if we talk about the other main components which is available on this board, that is STM32 L4 32 bit R microcontroller, LSM6 DSM uh, 3D axial row, and gyroscope LSM303 AGR. Uh, 3D accelerometer and magnetometer. It has LPS22 HB MEMS nano pressure sensor. It has MP34 DT0464 dB SNR digital MEMS microphone. It has Blue NRG MS 4.1 BLE supported uh, chip on board and also it supports so many external interfaces. Here, another board available into market is NRF52 development board. The key feature of this board it supports a multi protocol 2.4 gigahertz radio it has 32 bit arm cortex m4 microcontroller it has 512 kilobit flash and 64 kb ram memory and it can be updated these in fact all the those boards which we have discussed all those boards have this feature on the air update so that you can update the programs directly from your mobile or from internet and uh, it has 12 bit uh, adc on board and 128-bit AES uh, uh, encryption support and it consumes 7.7 .7 mA transmission current, 5.5 mA at 0 dB output power and it consumes 5.5 mA um, into the receiving mode. Another board is RN4020 BLE 4.1 development board made by the microchip 
and its price is almost 500 rupees and this board have UART I2C GPIO ADC and 128-bit uh, AES encryption support 3 PWM output and uh, RX and TX current consumes around 60 mil 16 milliampere here is another board NXP QN9020 VLE development board and uh, this board have a main microcontroller QN9020 which is BLE chip and it consumes 2 micro ampere into the deep sleep mode 3 micro ampere into the sleep mode and 9.25 milli ampere into the RX mode and 8.8 .8 milli ampere into the transmission mode this microcontroller have a 32 bit ARM Cortex M0 MCU it has 64 KB system memory and uh, it has 4 channel 10 bit general purpose uh, ADC so that user can read the external analog world and it has 31 GPIO pins for QN9020 and 15 GPIO pins for 9021 and 22 GPIO pins for QN9022 and it has 2 channel programmable PWM it has 2 SPI and UART interfaces it has I2C bus master and slave interfaces and AES 128-bit uh, security coprocessor and its price and the market is around 3000 rupees so here is the last board which we are going to discuss in this tutorial is DA1458 X development board and uh, it is made by the dialog semiconductor this uh, this chip is used by the Xiaomi in the wristband and uh, it has a 60 mega it has a 16 megahertz 32 bit ARM Cortex M0 microcontroller with SWD interface for the programming it has AES 128-bit encryption coprocessor, 32KB one-time programmable memory, 42KB static RAM, 84KB ROM and 8KB retention SRAM. It has 10-bit ADC for battery voltage measurements and also it has extra 4-channel 10-bit ADC so that you can uh, interface this board with the external analog world. And if we discuss about the current consumption of this board, it consumes 3.4 mA into the transmission mode and 3.7 milli ampere into the reception mode so that what we have found this board consumes the lowest power okay thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and if you like this tutorial subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly in your inbox thanks for watching